What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepare to go on an overnight trip in my converted minivan. Now some of these things are going to vary depending on where I'm going, how long I'm going for, and what I'm going to be doing. But typically this is a routine that I'll go through regardless of where I'm going and what I'm doing. So today I'm actually going to prepare for a trip that I'll be taking tomorrow. And this is just going to be a one night trip so it's nothing too extravagant. Let's get into it. Now before I actually start going through the checklist, there's a few things that I just always keep in my vehicle with me. Typically these things do not leave the van unless I'm cleaning or I gotta put the van back to its normal state. Now these things include my little welcome mat here to keep all the dirt and debris somewhat centralized. Next is my cot along with the sleeping pad and my sleeping bag. And then I've got my little black card table which I use to cook on. We've got my white gas burning stove the seven gallon water tank, and my Reflectix that go around every single window in this vehicle. Along with those few essential things, I also keep underneath my cot a lantern, a battery powered lantern, my muck boots, my fishing bag, and my fishing net. Now that we got the essentials taken care of, let's get into the checklist. Now these are just the few essential things that I will need on basically every trip. Typically I'll start with the easiest things first, and that's gonna be filling up the water tank. Now typically on a one overnight trip, I will not use a whole seven gallon tank of water. You know what they say, it's always better to have and not need than to need and not have. Next is checking the gas in my two burner camp stove. Thank you. Male lady just walked by. Now typically, same with the water, I will not use a full tank of gas to cook food for one single overnight trip. But in this case today, I did need to fill up the tank. Next on the list is getting my seasonings and cooking utensils together. Now this is my black and yellow Postmates bag that you've seen in other videos. This includes all my silverware, including plates and utensils, cutting boards, knives, paper towels, soap, sponges, pots and pans, and everything in between. Now this has also got in there some olive oil, a lighter, some hot sauce, a water bottle, can soap, just everyday things you would use while you're cooking in the van. Now for the upcoming trip tomorrow, the plan is to basically just use the Blackstone. I am gonna be cooking breakfast, so seasoning, we're just gonna stick to salt and pepper, and I've got that in my black and yellow Postmates bag already. Now in terms of cooking utensils, I will go ahead and grab the flat top cooking utensil kit. Now that's the last thing I'm gonna do today because most of these other things are time sensitive and or I don't wanna take the chance of them being stolen out of my vehicle. So we will finish the rest of these up tomorrow. All right, today's the day we're leaving. Let's finish our checklist. For our cooler, we're just gonna be packing some breakfast stuff. We've got bacon, sausage, eggs, hash browns. We probably won't need all these ice packs because it's gonna be below freezing the whole time we're down there but we'll pack them all anyway. All right, we got butter, sausage, and bacon. Same ones I used for the last video. Got the hash browns already in my Postmates bag. Now all we need are the eggs. Gonna need six eggs tomorrow, so I'm just gonna cut this guy in half. Not the best cut job, but it'll work. Now we need our Blackstone and our 20 pound propane tank. This is the portable Blackstone, but it weighs like 40 pounds. It is heavy. Now clothes and blankets are definitely gonna vary by the trip you go on. Today, it is gonna be freezing cold. I think it doesn't get above 32 degrees, and in the morning it's supposed to be, I believe, 15 degrees. So I'm gonna be grabbing an extra blanket and some very, very warm clothes. Now for my clothes, I already have what I'm basically gonna wear. I got a heavy Carhartt-like jacket, a long sleeve Henley, jeans, long johns, and socks, long socks. Also for when it gets super cold, I've got a beanie and gloves. 
And the last thing I personally need is my DSLR camera, my GoPro, my phone, and the batteries that go along with those. I've also got some reading material and some little snacks in there too. And the last thing before I hit the road, a full tank of gas. Well, there you have it. That's the complete checklist I use when I'm getting ready to go on an overnight in my converted minivan. If this checklist helped you, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Now, this isn't a very detailed checklist, but it gives you the overall essentials for a trip like this. Now, if you want me to do a more detailed checklist, let me know down below and I could put something together like that for you. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this, like I said, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do camping videos like this all the time. I appreciate every single one of you watching and I will catch you in the next video at the farm. Shoot.